in today's example of Arduino, we'll be going to analyze a program which is used to access data in EEPROM using the serial monitor. So we'll be reading the data which is available in the serial uh, in the EEPROM using serial monitor as well as we'll be writing a data to the EEPROM using the serial monitor. So this is the problem in hand where we have to read as well as write data with respect to an EEPROM. So for if this is the example that is being given. If the user types read space 3 then the contents of EEPROM address 3 should be printed to the serial monitor and if the user types write 3 space 10 then the value 10 should be written into the address 3 of the EEPROM. So uh, let me remind you here the serial monitor is being used to perform the input that is read space 3 as well as write space 3 space 10 would be performed using the serial monitor. So this program is a bit complex as compared to the already available sketches in the examples of Arduino. So here we can find that this is the program that is being given or that has been developed by me. So here I am going to define the prob uh, problem in terms of string. This is because we have to type in the word read space 3 or write space 3 space 10 that means these are strings which has to be analyzed unlike the ordinary uh, approach where we'll be performing only int application in based application here we will be performing using strings so these are some of the global variables which are defined that is done as well as string in byte other global variables and string in byte would be initialized as a null uh, string initially so that it does not take in garbage values so again we'll have the void setup where we'll be beginning up the serial uh, monitor at a baud rate of 9600 and then we have the void loop where we will be uh, initializing local variables and after that we will be going on to the program. So in the program we can see that uh, initially we will be checking whether the serial data is available from the serial monitor that is serial available and based on the real, uh, reading of the value that is being uh, stored in a temporary variable which is known as temp and uh, then the performance will be done. Here, uh, during the serial monitor analysis, we will be using new line, new line for the for identifying the uh, finishing or completion of an operation. For example, if we are typing in read space three, then the program should know that when uh, the data input has ended. So we are providing new line as the identifier. So that is why it is given as if temp is equal to backslash n, then it is given as done is equal to true. And once uh, the true condition has been attained, we'll be going on to the uh, program. One other uh, drawback that we're going to face in the case of Arduino is that the Arduino uh, data would have only uh, the ability to analyze uh, bit by bit. So we can see that uh, in the in the case of read, read has to be a four into eight. That is uh, eight four so thirty two thirty two bit long data. But uh, it, uh, the Arduino can at the most analyze only 8 bit or 16 bit so that's why we have given a or a, a, a global variable which is known as temp and uh, this temp would be reading and updating its data so that once the complete word that is read has been obtained after that only it will go into the inner loop that is it will check whether the data is uh, completed that is input data is complete that is uh, we are going to enter it is as read space 3 so that means it will first check for R, then uh, then E, then A, and then D. And after that, when the new line or space occurs, that is when we are going to identify that the address has obtained. So once um, the new line has been obtained, it will go into the program, and then you can see that we'll be checking for the space. And here we can see that once the space has been identified, that is after read, there is a space, and so the next data will be the address, and that's why uh, that will be stored as the address value here we can find that here we will have the address in byte substring we will be converting it to the address value and that uh, that identified address is then converted to an integer that is why address addr str dot, dot t uh, i mean to int so that value that which is three which is a substring of um, uh, the of the equation or the uh, of a part of the string that is being stored as an integer to addr so based on this ADDR, we will be performing the analysis. So after the address has been identified, we will check whether the input command was write or read. 
and based on whether it was right or read we'll do the necessary operations so if it is right we'll write the data to the particular uh, address and if it is read we'll read the data which is available in that particular address so this is in a nutshell the entire program or the logic that I have followed to complete this uh, program so let us first of all verify it we'll check whether there are any errors in this or this program is worth compiling so compi uh, compilation is going on and so done compiling so there are no errors now i'll be uploading it into my audino this is my audino mega which has already been plugged in now i'll upload it and uploading it let's see whether there are any uh, problems in uploading so uh, uploading is going on and done uploading now we go, we'll go into the serial monitor and check whether uh, my instruction is done so what i'm going to do is i'll write a value to the address 3 and check whether that value has been written in that address 3 so uh, first i'll be performing the write operation so it is w r i t e so that is right space 3 space let me take it as 10 itself so right so i'm going to write it so i'll send this data send so that has been written now let us check whether actually it has been written so that is so i'm going to write uh, read the value that is r e a d and in three okay so that is an enter and so you can re see that at the address three the value 10 has been written so let us try another one we'll write write three space say seven so that is so we are going to write the value seven to address three so now let us check r e a d read space three and so there you have the value seven has been written in three so that's it so this is the uh, a bit complex problem as compared to the already available examples in Audina. and that's it thank you